I think it's time we uh, sat down and had a talk about Ninja Turtles. Um, people always ask me, hey Andy, you got any Ninja Turtles? They know I got a lot of toys and books and movies and stuff. Um, uh, duh, yeah, I got tons of Ninja Turtles. Okay, we're going tabletop here, so hang on. Uh, yeah, I got all kinds of Ninja Turtles figures. Uh, this one is a... I don't know. Well, he's in pretty rough shape, but... He used to be one of those transforming flip head turtles. And he would have legs in here, stored in there somewhere, that would flip out. Uh, those are gone. Um, this is a Michelangelo version of that. I think I have other versions of that too. Never cared for that gimmick. Got a little wee Donatello. A little sneaky little guy. Um, I got a little Michelangelo. Another Michelangelo. See, I know all their names, right? <laughs> and I know their, their origin and their background and, and whatever. And some of the sporting characters and all that, but... I am not a huge Ninja Turtles fan. Sorry, guys. It's uh, for younger folks. Folks younger than me. Michelangelo that goes with that Donatello in that scale. Oh, the cute little guys. Raphael with a utility belt. He's got a bunch of extra weapon storage. All the weapons are gone. Is it just me or does he have more teeth? than the human would have. Like, that's the thing about action figures is nobody cares to count how many teeth this guy has. Pretty sure that's more than human level though. Shredder, he's kinda cool. I like his armor and stuff. Uh, he's a very dangerous looking guy. That's from a newer series of Ninja Turtles figures. And uh, speaking of newer, there's the newer Rocksteady I got right there. A little more realistic looking Rhino guy. He's pretty big, so I'll put him in the back. And I got the Metalhead Turtle Dude. Oh, I think I actually have two of those guys. Yeah. But curiously, one is gold and one is silver. I don't know what's up with that. Got a wind up or action feature Raphael I'm not sure what that's supposed to be but you push this button maybe it's like like giving you a raspberry or something or maybe that's like a farting sound I don't know I've never heard a turtle fart so who knows right Okay, farting Raphael, go over there. This guy, I don't know what the hell that guy is. He's like a an insect. He's got a weird big antenna. Oh, you turn his head and his meow, 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 meow. Uh, I don't know. He could have been a good guy for all I care. Looks like he was like a office guy, blue collar worker with big blue wings. Boogie eyes, boogie 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 boogie. This guy, um, he's like, I don't know what his deal is. I know his name is Slash, or at least I read that somewhere when I was doing my half assed research for Ninja Turtle toys. Um, yeah, he looks like an evil turtle. He's got the weird, sharp teeth. Looks like he's got the correct number of them, though. Um, I don't know what his deal is. Maybe he's a good guy. Then I got... This is a Michelangelo. And he's got dolphins all over him. Or fish or whatever. There's the shark on his shoulder. The dolphin tucked into his elbow pads. Or is that a whale? An orca. And he's got like a squid on his foot. I guess... The deal is, or the joke or whatever is he just like climbed out of the sea and, he's, and all the sea creatures are all still stuck to him. Makes for a weird kinda Ninja Turtle though. I like how his wetsuit goes like right over his shell and everything. Like cowbug dude. Oh don't mind my seaweed. Weed is weed if you get my drift. 
Michelangelo doesn't talk like that, does he? I don't know. Another Michelangelo. Getting a lot of Michelangelos here. I like this one. Uh, he's kind of neat. Um, I guess that's from like the CGI movie or series that was around at the time, or I have no idea. But he looks pretty cool. He's pretty posable. Got a football Leonardo. I think he, uh, I don't have a football, but he chucks a football. He's got like a spring loaded thing. Let's put something in his hand, see what he can throw. I don't know what this is. It's a, just a random plastic piece from another toy. Okay, guys. Got to line up the shot. Got to call the play. Three, two, four, hike! And, uh, well, he didn't take anybody out with it, but managed, well, there you go. Managed to whack him in the face. Yeah. Face whacking Leonardo. And they all had, like, dumb names, too, like, uh, at least the old Playmates ones. Like, I uh, found this guy, and I actually looked up his name. I was like, Firefighter Donatello? Nope. Guess what his name is. Bet you can't. I mean, uh, there's limited play value on this uh, ninja turtle. Not very ninja-y. Anyway, his name is hose him down Donnie because uh, he's got a hose right and yeah he's all about the hose and um, that's Donatello he's a firefighter I guess or at least he has a hose that he can like spray his enemies with or whatever or, you know it's just a really dumb name um, and then they got for some reason they got a sideways skating Raphael, I don't know, he's got wheels on his feet, but he can only roll sideways. Um, he's missing his shell, or the upper part of his shell. He's not that poseable. I don't know what's up with this Ninja Turtle. Oh, he's got a spring loaded. Oh, check it out. Once again, Andy Boy Comics and Toys videos are not meant for children. I don't know, I guess he had a weapon here. But, or a drink. Maybe it's hard drinking Raphael. That's why he just kind of rolls in there. Hey, yo. I gotta get a beer, put it in his hand or something. I think this guy's a motorcycle stunt driver. I don't know, he kind of has like an Evil King Evil helmet, if you ask me. Uh, or a dirt biking helmet or something like that. Get the bandana trailing in the wind. Um, I do have a turtle cycle too. It's like, uh, move it guys. Um, yeah, it's scaled for the Playmates figures. So uh, this guy's a Playmates. See if he... Yeah, I got no handlebars on this thing. Um, so he's just going to have to do his best without. Uh, it's got a little sidecar, which is a trash can. Just trashy turtles, uh, but let's put the gecko guy in there. Uh, this guy, skateboard and gecko, he'd be into that. All right, Kelbunga dudes. Um, yeah, and I got these toad guys. Um, they're the same character, but I got like multiples of them. Um, there's one. This guy's got like dark spots. He's a little more brown. This guy's missing a hand at the wrist there. Um, it's a little lighter in color. And then I got another one that's like that guy. But a little bit more brightly painted and he has both hands. And a friendship bracelet. Um, anyway, yeah, so I got the three toads. They're not even turtles, man. Get out of here. Ooh, then I got basketball, Donatello. Yo, 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 yo. Over here, over here. I'm open. I'm open. Uh, let's give him something to throw. Gave a, I don't know, it's a big tire or something, but it's yellow. It looks like a big old deep dish pizza, and he's going to hurl it over these guys. Let him go. 
Pizza time. Huh. I guess I shouldn't have ordered those extra anchovies. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun. And then we got like a space Raphael. Spaceman Raphael. He's got a... What the hell is that? He's got an alien stuck on his back. A brain sucker. I better, I better put this turtle in, in the airlock. He doesn't have the plastic dome. I think there was supposed to be a plastic dome went over his head. Because otherwise he'd be uh, pretty fucking dead in space with a spacesuit on and no helmet. Then I got like a wind up Michelangelo with his tongue out. I can't really wind him. All I can do is kind of like, this is what it's supposed to do. I guess you'd put like a nunchucks or whatever in his hand and you spin him around. That's kind of cool. Uh, but it, it doesn't work. Like I can't wind it up. And I can't get his tongue to go back in his head because that looks really dumb. Yeah. It's oral sex. Michelangelo. Look at this dumbass thing. This is definitely like a free Burger King toy or something. Uh, does nothing. His head barely moves. Everything else is one solid piece. Uh, except for the shell. Which you can open his shell. And it's a little storage compartment. You, you can put your weed in there. You put this on your shelf. Your mom would never know. Leonardo's hiding your stash. Oh, another Leonardo. This is, whoa, he's, that's the biggest one yet, I think. Got the opening shell, the fold-out leg thing, and the flip-around head to turn him into a regular turtle. Which is stupid, and for the effect that you get after you do all those things, it looks really dumb anyway. And uh, it's not worth the hassle of actually transforming the figure. Yeah, get out of here. Look at this guy, he's got like a big fan on his back. It's actually like, a, um, it had a ripcord. You pull the ripcord through and he talks. Yeah, yeah, a talk, see? And, um, but I don't have the ripcord and it probably doesn't work anyway. Uh, and it looks really dumb because it replaces his shell with this, like, looks like a manhole cover. Yeah, that's dumb. But collectible nonetheless. Got a mutant guy. It's got a rah, rah. It's got like a chomping jaw action feature. He's also got this, where he's like, you pull on his hair and his eyeballs pop out. And he's like, whoa, whoa, oh man, this shit is kicking in. Then I got a rock guy, uh, one of the like general of the rock people or something. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, but he's there. Um, well, I got this duck, Ace Duck. I think is his name. I think he's supposed to be like a movie star or something that the turtles like worship and they think he's awesome. Um, I think he had a hat originally. I'm not sure. Um, and probably like a gun and a whip, and he's probably like Indiana Jones duck or something. Dun, 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 dun. Or not, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I've been watching enough of the cartoons to actually remember who this guy is. Um, I like his feet. He's very Howard the Duck looking. But he's a little more built, you know. He's an action duck. Action hero duck. Ace Duck, at your service. Anyway, he's my favorite one. He's not even a turtle. This guy's a turtle. And he's wearing the shell of um, one of his um, fallen infant comrades on his head. That's just morbid, man. That's like cannibalistic. That's like Wow, you savage. Nice shoes, though. Leonardo, no swords, sorry. Another Leonardo, hey. 
Um, I got a lot of Leonardo's. Dumb. Here's the Michael Bay Leonardo. Hey, I heard there was a Leonardo convention in town. Is that right? Raphael. This is this one goes with this like same set as this Michelangelo, I think. But he looks like sadistic, like evil. Raphael. I mean, I know he's supposed to be edgy and conflicted and you know aggressive and everything like that, but a good guy. But they make him look so evil. Getting this big pile of Ninja Turtles and I'm just pushing them back into the big mosh pit. Then I got a splinter. Yo, yo, what's up? I don't think this club belongs to him, but he looks pretty threatening with this thing. Either like a mob boss, or maybe grandma with a rolling pin. I don't know, but I'm. I'm not messing with that guy. Another Leonardo. God, this place is sick with Leonardo's. Uh, speaking of sick, I got my trio of what looks to me like diseased turtles. I mean, look at these guys. Look at all the spots. Donatello looks kind of worried. The other guys look happy enough, though. Uh, these are the movie star turtles. Uh, I think these ones are sculpted to look like the um, like the first Ninja Turtles movie, and uh, I guess they look like that. But I mean, those spots it just freaks me out, man. Oh, well, only a couple more. I got like a wind up Leonardo. It's always Leonardo. I think there's a thing, man. People just don't like Leonardo. Because he's a hard ass and he's a leader and he's like super goody goody all the time. He's like the original lawful good paladin in Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, if you don't get that reference, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Um, how's his arm supposed to go? Okay. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, that's pretty lame. I'm gonna crowd surf over there. Uh, another cool Michelangelo. Hey, I'm Michelangelo. I'm the one everybody likes. Cowabunga, dude. Oh, stop buzzing, Leonardo. Uh, and then Donatello. I don't have that many Donatellos, actually. I think, well, most of the ones I have have that like gimmick, like they're, you know, firefighter, space guy, or whatever. That's a pretty good Donatello. Yeah. Alright. He's a potential keeper. And then I think finally I have a couple of little guys. Yeah, I got a Michelangelo with an actual chain and nunchuck. And um, a Leonardo that just kind of stands there and poses. But he has his swords, at least, because they're permanently sculpted in his hand. Uh, Michelangelo, I think this is like a building block toy, like a Lego ripoff or Mega Blocks or something. I don't know, that's pretty cool though. I like the fact that it's like a real chain. Yeah, go Mega Blocks or whoever. Okay, so as you can see. I got a lot of extra Ninja Turtles here. I mean, out of this big pile, stop it. He's still buzzing in there. But out of this big pile, I think I'm probably gonna keep like four or five of them. And the rest are going up for sale. Um, Cause I know that you guys out there, you like your Ninja Turtles. And I guess I kinda do too. Otherwise I wouldn't have like 60 of them, I suppose.